Good morning. Good morning. I hope you guys are doing well today. And today is Tuesday. Tuesday, Tuesday March 9th. And we're talking about a look in the mirror. On, and it comes from Jonah chapter 1, verse 3. It says, Jonah ran away from the Lord and headed for Tarshish. He went down to Joppa, where he found a ship bound for that port in Jonah chapter 1, verse 3. Let's pray this morning. Dear God, we just thank you for this beautiful day. We thank you, Lord, for your love for us. We thank you for answered prayers, and we thank you for just being our provider, our redeemer. Thank you, Lord, that there is hope. We give you today, and we thank you for it. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Good morning, Charles. Good morning, Alana. Good morning, Teresa. Good to see you guys on with us this morning. We're talking today about a look in the mirror, Jonah 1, 3. It says, how many times has God asked us to do something that we didn't want to do? <laughs> Perhaps the Lord asked you to be the first to apologize when you disagreed with your spouse and the argument wasn't even your fault. Or he asked that you take a meal to your grumpy neighbor even though he knew you already had made other plans for the evening. Or perhaps God asked you to give away the new jacket you absolutely loved and had worn only once. It's easy to act when the task is in our wheelhouse or when we, like the person who asked to ask us to help, but we need some help to stretch past our limits when the cost of obedience feels too high or when we simply don't like the people to whom he has sent us. Did you realize you have so much did you realize you have so much in common with Jonah? He had to learn to build faithfulness even when he didn't like where he was sent or who he was sent to. His first instinct was to turn away, to resist what God had called him to do. If you're running the other way, turn around now, shake off that reluctance and embrace what God has called you to do. Lord God, thank you for using your living and active word to make me a stronger and better follower. Show me how to stay committed to your calling in all situations. Hmm. Morning, Jerry. Good to see you on this morning. I, li I like the story of Jonah. I do too. Because there are many times when I believe God wants us to do something and we just, we might know in our heart that it's the best thing to do for the other person, but we let ourselves get in the way. <laughs> I like all of the examples. Take a meal to the grouchy neighbor. Uh, you know, be the first one to, to be forgiving or apologize. That's a hard thing because we let pride get in the way. <clears throat> and we... You know, our sacrifice, once again, how we looked at yesterday and how God takes just the little things that we have and he, he does so much with because our sacrifice, he can multiply the benefits. Um, like he multiplied the bread, like he took Jonah's story and Jonah, all, all he asked him to do was to go and to share and to preach the gospel to the where it is? Ninevites. Ninevites. And he didn't want to. He thought, they don't deserve to get saved. <laughs> I don't yeah. know what he thought. Well, he thought that they but, were evil, wicked people. That, well, they were. Yeah. They needed to get yep. saved. But, you know, so we get out, we get in the way. And I'm going on and on this no, you're good. It's good. It's good. So I like the title, you know, A Look in the Mirror, because... When we look, as they have talked about, the living, active word, when we look into the word, the word, you know, or look, look into the mirror, the word makes a difference. And the word is our mirror. So, and it is exactly what Hebrews 4.12 says. It's living and active. It's, it's not dead, but it's living and active to change our lives, to, to convict us, to encourage us, whatever's needed at that time. And, of course, what we're talking about here is is a, a convicting thing because God has called us to reach people and and there's those times when we may be selfish or not wanting to do something and we're running the other way just like Jonah was doing and 
God is saying, you know, you're the, you're the person for the job. You're the man, you're the woman for the job. I have equipped you to do it, and I'm gonna bless you if you do it too, but it may be outside of what we want at that moment, and, and so therefore it, it makes it very tough. But there, there's an importance in a being obedient, of course, to the Lord, and responding and saying, yes, Lord, I'll do it, I'll go and do it. So, and there's those times when it's, it's pretty clear that like when you get in a, a fight or an argument with your, your spouse, that you want to be reconciled. And, and sometimes, you know what, you need to uh, apologize. You need to be the first one to apologize, even if you didn't start the argument. Um, and we've both been there, so. 33 years of marriage. In fact, this coming Friday. Is it Friday, 12th? Friday. I was just trying to think. 12th is our 33rd anniversary. So, woohoo! Yeah. Anyway, so talking about a look in the mirror, um, God's asking us to take a look at ourselves to see where we're at and see are we running from something that He wants to do in us right now. So, that would be the thing to ask ourselves and look at ourselves today because the bottom line is, I've already said, if we do that and what you say yes, God will bless you. And we know that. So let's pray. Lord, thank you for today. Thank you that, God, your word is like looking in a mirror, that uh, you show us things in our lives that, that you can encourage us with. You show things in our lives that we need to be convicted by, that there may be something that you want to change in us and make us more like Jesus, help us to say yes. And I pray if there's something like that in my life or in our lives today that, that each of us have to go to you personally and ask. But if there's something in our lives today that you would um, just speak to us, that we would answer with a, uh, an affirmative answer to do what you have asked us to do. And I know that, God, when we do that, <clears throat> there will be blessing because being obedient to you is, is a good thing. And uh, how that blessing comes or what that blessing is, we don't know. But, God, we know that we trust you because you're faithful and you know what's best for us. And it's not always about us. Sometimes it's you're calling us to do something to touch somebody else's life. That, that it's not about us at all. It's about somebody else and loving them and serving them and doing the right thing for them. And, and so you know what's going on in people's hearts. We don't even know what's going on. So help us to hear your voice and help us to say yes to you and do what you've called us to do. Lord, now bless each one today as they go through this Tuesday. Give them a great and an incredible Tuesday today. Um, and we ask it all in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Well, it's good to be with you guys today. Good morning, Sarah. Good morning, Sarah. Our daughter is on with us too. Good morning. It's good to be with you guys, and uh, we will see you tomorrow on Wednesday. One thing I might mention, and we're still kind of talking about this, but we are actually coming up, not, not, not our anniversary of talking about, but we are talking about an anniversary on March 30th this month, uh, this year. It will be our one-year anniversary in doing these devotions. We started in the midst of the beginning of COVID last year on uh, March 30th, and we're coming up on a year anniversary of doing these. And we're actually talking about doing something special. We're not sure what to do, but uh, we want to give something away. So anyway, if you have some ideas that would be a great prize or, you know, just a way to celebrate, um, you could throw it in a note and send it to us as a text or shoot it in this memo here on a on a note, uh, but we wanna do something to celebrate because it's been coming up on this one year and it's been a fabulous thing for not only us, it's been a blessing to be able to uh, be a part of your lives and encourage you guys, but... Uh, it doesn't seem like a year. No, it doesn't seem like a year. And I know that, and my wife would admit it, she has several times when we first started this, she, she's not one to be on camera, she's not one to be in front of people, and she was hesitant, but now, we both have seen the great blessing in it and uh, are so glad that we can just be a part of your lives. Even though we don't see each other face to face, it's been such a blessing. So God bless you guys. You have a great and incredible Tuesday. Remember, keep your, keep your eyes, eyes on, on Jesus. Jesus. Keep looking up. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow.